Netcast you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Next, let's talk about logic gates. Logic gates are used in the real world every day, billions and billions of times. They are electronic switches that run all of the things in the real physical world. You can build them in Minecraft using redstone. I'm here to teach you some of the simple ones. Things can get complicated very, very fast. So first, let me go ahead and build one of these logic gates in front of you so you can sort of see how it works. This logic gate will be one of the simplest. It's called an AND gate. Okay, so uh, right here, I have sort of a little scenario built up for us all ready. How an AND gate works is uh, you have two inputs, and uh, each of the inputs, when are, they're turned on, it will turn the logic gate on as well. Uh, you can have this one and this one turned on, and it will turn on your output. So first, just looking at this scenario, our output will be this torch right here, and our inputs will be these levers. And you can see we have a problem already. This redstone torch is already turned on. We need it to actually be turned off for this gate to work. So in order to do that, we are going to use the uh, redstone logic that we know of already to turn this off. How do we do it? I'll give you some time, just like Blue's Clues. That's right, we power the block that it is sitting on. So let me go ahead and grab some of my tools. Uh, I'm gonna grab a redstone, a redstone torch, and a lever, just in case. So to turn this off, uh, let's go ahead and place a torch here. So now we have a, a power, and then let's run some redstone to it. And there, now it has turned off. Now, I wanna point out, once again, that this redstone direction is very crucial, the fact that the redstone line is going into the block. So if I accidentally put one here, the uh, torch will turn on instead. Now, this is an AND gate, and we need two inputs, so let's do the same thing on the other side. Uh, some redstone here, here, and here, and a torch. And now our output is off. That is a good first step. Now it's pretty simple. Let's just uh, go ahead and wire up these, now my input is already on, so let's turn both of those off. Uh, let's wire up uh, this inverter to our first input and our second inverter to the uh, next input. And it works just as promised. If I turn this input on, it should. We're actually getting a bug here uh, because obviously you can see the redstone is powering this. Uh, this is actually off uh, because there's no particles coming off of it but it is still turned on, which is, is, I actually had this problem earlier, I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna update the redstone and just show you that yes, it is working. See, this is, this is a weird problem. Now it's on, those are both powered, but I don't know what is wrong with my Minecraft game. But sometimes you do have redstone bugs. <laughs> if you just do this a whole bunch of times, I'm sure eventually it'll just work out. Um, here, let's just uh, destroy that and put that back. And turn that on. Ah. Okay, good. Actually, it is, it is working now. So um, uh, this gate uh, has worked, and the inverter worked just fine. This redstone is off, and this input needs to be turned on. So let's go ahead and turn it on, and bam, there is our output. This is giving us the desired uh, behavior of redstone, where you need to have both inputs on, this one and this one, to create an output. Uh, this is a very, very simple gate. Hmm. You know what's, what's interesting is, so this kind of looks like a, I'm sure, I'm sure it's a coincidence. But anyway, uh, this is a very simple gate, and this is called the AND gate. So, Let's get into a few other gates. I'm not gonna build them as I've built this AND gate in front of you, but let's just talk about some of the functions that it does. This is the first gate, it's called a NOT gate. This is actually what I was describing earlier with the behavior of the redstone current flowing into a block that has a torch on it and it will invert the current. Uh, this is an inverter and the, the appropriate term for this is a NOT gate. This is not a gate. It's not a gate. This is a gate. 
anyway, thank, thank you for humoring me. Uh, next, uh, it is a gate, it's called a not gate. Um, next is this OR gate. In the OR gate, uh, you have multiple inputs, and any of the inputs could be turned on to turn on the output. So if I turn on this input, it turns on the output. It could be this input, or this input, or this input. Um, so that's what uh, the OR gate does. Now, there, this, you may think, God, this thing's so sloppy. All it is is a whole bunch of redstone running into the same thing. Well, you can isolate your inputs by uh, breaking this, putting down a block, and then using repeaters to uh, act as a diode so that the redstone current doesn't come back towards the other input. So now... Uh, the, um, it works just as uh, mentioned before, but it is a little bit tidier. We use a little bit more resources, but uh, now your uh, inputs are sort of sterilized and uh, uh, off on their own because of the diode feature that the uh, repeater has. So moving on, we have a NAND gate. Uh, this NAND gate uh, is one of the first gates to show off that many gates have sort of a right hand and a left hand. Um, and uh, the big difference is that in an AND gate, which is what we showed off before, the inputs, when the inputs were off, the output was off. But in this NAND gate, when the inputs are off, the output is on instead of off. Um, so it's basically the exact same gate. And in fact, just to show you, this is really a not uh, compact gate that I built before, but it works. Uh, this is a much more compact gate uh, in that it only uses uh, pretty much this scenario, this uh, two torches with a redstone in the middle um, as the difference. So it just works just like the AND gate where you have to have both inputs powered on and then the output will power off. Uh, which is sort of the opposite of, of the input. So it works just like an AND gate, except that it's a NAND gate because uh, the output is different. And that is also true with a NOR gate. So uh, if the OR gate was the right hand, this is the left hand, where the output is inverted, where on the OR gate, you, uh, when, your output, when your input was off, your output was off. Here, when your uh, input is off, your output is on, and that works just as desired. Next, let's get into some really cool stuff. This is an XOR gate. Uh, the X um, allows this gate to function uh, like a switch, but with both sides, uh, with both inputs. So if I turn this input on, it will turn the output on, and if I turn this input on, it will turn the output off. So it is always, no matter what you do, every single time that you flip the switch, the output will change its state from on to off. This could be very, very useful if you only wanted one light switch in the house uh, to turn on and off the lights overhead, and now you didn't have to worry about one always being on. You could use this XOR uh, gate because every single time you flipped a switch, it would turn on or off the output. And looking at the logic of this, it's pretty dang simple. Let's turn both of the inputs off. You sort of have this buffer here in the middle with this torch, which will keep uh, these torches on the side off. And then when you power uh, this, uh, uh, you know, this input, uh, it will turn off both of these torches but it turns on this one because this one is no longer powered using that yes, no functionality that I was talking about as the heart of all of redstone logic. So now we have the same scenario, but if we turn them both on, then, uh, then all of the torches are off, which changes the setting once again. Very, very cool stuff. This is called the XOR gate. Next, let's talk about the XNOR gate. So because that in is in there, uh, it works just as the XOR gate, but in the opposite faction, fashion when both of the inputs are false or off or zero, then the output is true or on or one. So uh, it works just the same where once, when you flip one and flip the other, it just changes the output. Now, this one is very interesting. This is called an implies gate. And how this one works is if the 
input um, uh, B is turned on, your uh, input A can't really do anything. So it's almost like a lock on your system. And then if you turn this on, the lock is off, and now your uh, input will actually change the output. Uh, this is really, really neat if you, say, wanted a lock on your base and you wanted to be able to control it. As long as this is turned off, the output will always, always, always be on, no matter what you do to input A. But if you turn it on, then you are able to control it with input A, which is really, really a useful uh, feature. So that are, those are a few simple logic gates in game. There are a lot more. Logic gates have been around since the beginning of computer hardware. So uh, if, you are, if you are an enthusiast of computer hardware, you can jump straight into it because you already know what all these gates do. Uh, if, you, if you aren't, you may have to do a little bit of research uh, to make sure that everything uh, is working ex exactly how you expected it. All right, I know what you're thinking. In what ways could I ever use this to my advantage? Up next, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff that you can do with Redstone in your house, and then also show off some of your ideas on a really, really cool server.